kind of nerve-wracking, you know, going off a building connected to a rope. For this, it's kind of a specialty in the fire department. So you know you have like the EMTs who specialize in the medical portion. Well, this is another specialty. When we're dealing with rescue, it's getting out there, helping out and getting people out of bad situations. People work on top of buildings every day. People go in confined spaces doing work every day. And, you know, things happen. Okay, casualties coming up. It's important because we use this. Nice and easy. Maybe not so much every day, but when situations happen, we want the people around to be prepared to uh, utilize their training to actually help those people out. We don't want to be reactive, we want to be proactive. So you have your suspended victim, right? So how long do you have? 30, 30, minutes. 30 minutes, right? It's amazing just to see the, the, the progression of the students. So day one, a lot of these ladies and gentlemen, you know, they haven't had a lot of experience. Uh, you know, we take baby steps, we show them how to do it, and then we allow them the time to uh, craft those systems and... All right, guys, I'm good to go. Uh, as the weeks progress, we see them get better at tying ropes and knots, we see them better at making the systems, and we see them get more comfortable on the wall. So from day one, not knowing anything, to, you know, the end of instruction at day 15, and getting that certification and having the confidence in them to now use the knowledge that they have gained, it's almost like seeing your little brother or little sister graduate, you know, so it's a good feeling. Full time, full time. Yay, my heroes! Yeah, exactly.